Hi friends. Welcome back to yet another video. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix your PC did not start correctly in Windows 10 and 11. There are four reasons that creating this error. 1. Sudden power loss or power outages. 2. Windows registry issue. 3. Boot file corruption. 4. Missing or damaged system files. We are going to work on these reasons to solve this issue. Let us jump to the solution. Method 1. Start up repair loop. Go to the advanced options. Then click on troubleshoot. And select advanced options. Now select start up repair. This option is designed to automatically diagnose your PC, identify the error, and attempt to fix it. However, if your system fails to start correctly and displays the startup repair couldn't repair your PC error, there's no need to worry. There are alternative solutions available to resolve this issue. These solutions aim to diagnose the underlying problem and provide effective fixes to get your system up and running again. Method 2. Get System Restore. Go to the Advanced Options. Click on Troubleshoot. Now click on Advanced Options and select System Restore. Here, the system will automatically initiate a search for available system restore points. If no restore points are found, an error message will be displayed indicating that no restore points have been created on your computer. However, if you do have a system restore point available, you can proceed by clicking the next button to select a restore point from the list of available options. Now again click on next. It will ask you to confirm restore point which you have selected. Click on finish. The process cannot be interrupted once started. So select yes. Here the system restore completed successfully. Now restart your system. After the system restarts, you will receive a confirmation message that telling you the system restore completed successfully. Method 3. Use check disk. Another alternative to fixing the automatic repair issue is by utilizing the check disk utility from the command prompt. In order to use the check disk utility from the command prompt, click on troubleshoot. Now click on advanced options and open the command prompt. Inside the command prompt type the command chkdsk space slash f space slash r space c colon and then press enter. The command check disk slash f slash r c is used to check and repair disk errors on the specified disk. The disk checkup has been completed successfully. Now exit the command prompt. Method 4. Boot Configuration Data Another possible reason for the automatic repair issue on your computer could be related to the boot configuration data, BCD. The BCD contains important boot configuration parameters that guide the system on how to start Windows. To fix this issue, click on Troubleshoot. Now click on Advanced Options. Here open the command prompt. Inside the command prompt type the command disk part and then press enter. Again type the command list vol. Press enter. This command will list the volume of your system. Now type sol vol 0. Press enter. This command is used to select the volume 0. Now type assign letter Z. Press enter. This command is used to assign the letter Z to zero volume. Again type the command list vol. Press enter. Now you can see we have a renamed letter Z to the volume zero. Now leave the disk part. Now rebuild the system boot configuration by typing the following command. bcd boot c windows space slash s space c space slash f space all. 
The command is used to repair and recreate the boot files required for the Windows startup process. Now type bootrec slash fix MBR. Press enter. This command is used to repair the master boot record MBR on a Windows system. Now type bootrec slash fix boot. Press enter. This command is used to repair or rebuild the boot configuration data BCD store on a Windows system. Now type bootrec slash rebuild BCD. Press enter. This command is used to rebuild the boot configuration data BCD store on a Windows system. Now exit the command prompt. If the issue still persists. Method 5. Fix registry files. In order to fix the registry files, go to the troubleshoot again. Now click on advanced options. Here open the command prompt. Inside the command prompt type the command. Disk part. Press enter. Then type list volume. Press enter. Here you can see the list of the volumes on your computer. If you are unable to find where is the operating system of your computer has installed. Type exit to exit the disk part. Now type C colon, then press enter. Now type DIR. Then press enter. You can see the Windows directory which stores the OS files. Now type cd backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash config, then press enter. Now type dir, then press enter. Now type md space backup1, then press enter. Now type copy space asterisk dot asterisk backup1, then press enter. This will go and copy the files in the config folder into the backup1 folder. Now type cd regback. Then press enter. Now type dir. Then press enter. Now you can see the five files here in the registry backup, which is used to restore the registry. In case your backup registry files are displaying values of zero, you should exit the command prompt and return to the advanced options window. However, if the backup registry files do have some values present, you can proceed with entering the following command. Copy space asterisk dot asterisk space dot dot. Now it will ask you to select yes, no, or all. Now select all files. Then press enter. Now we have copied the all files. Now type exit. Then press enter. Now press continue. Once the system is booted successfully, then go to Windows search bar. Type Registry Editor. Click on the Registry Editor at the top of the result. Go to H key underscore local underscore machine. Now expand system. Click on Current Control Set. Then expand Control. Again expand Session Manager. Now expand Configuration Manager. Inside Configuration Manager, right click on the empty space at the right pane and choose new then select dword 32 bit value rename as enable periodic backup after renaming make a double click and change the value data to 1 finally click on okay close the registry editor now restart your computer Please subscribe this channel, like and share this video.